Well, when the book came out, people would say, you're writing this during Ferguson. Were you inspired by Ferguson? And the answer is no. Um, the, uh, it may be news to some people that we have a terrible police brutality problem. You know, it's not news to me. And, and it's been, a, in, in my life, there's a, a horrible incident, and we start talking about police brutality, and then we stop, and it's Rodney King, or it's Abner Luino, and then we stop. And that's been a feature of, of my, my whole life. And so, for me, Ferguson uh, was another line in that, of, of, of how I, I'm acquainted with America. However, the book came out in August uh, of 2016, and then my sense of the book changed when we elected Donald Trump, because I've been writing sort of abstractly about white supremacy, and then we elected a white supremacist president. And it definitely did change how I felt about the book. Um, whereas, writing about slave patrollers and the language uh, that former slaves would talk about when they were stopped by slave patrollers. It was the same language I've used when I've been stopped by police and interrogated. Um, uh, free people in the 19th century had to show their free papers. I have to have my ID all the time or else something bad can happen when I'm stopped for being black in the wrong place. Um, so I was you know, thinking of that when I was writing the book and those parallels were natural. I didn't have to, and I don't think I hit people over the head. I think they're, they're sort of there in, in the text. Um, but definitely, in terms of how my outlook has changed on America in the book, you know, Donald Trump has, has changed my acquaintance with some of the things I was writing about. And I, I started reading different parts of the book that I think speak to um, where we are now. But.